It's time for some Christian news uh, from our very own Tony Davenport over on vision.org.au. He uh, reported a story yesterday coming out of the States. Uh, now, you're you're an educator, uh, Fel, so I'd be interested in your take on this yeah. one. Uh, the Washington Post has just done a massive story collecting, uh, you know, uh, all this data from 32 states around the USA, representing 60% of school-age children around the country. And uh, they've basically found that uh, between 1.9 million to 2.7 million children, school-age children, are getting uh, taught at home. Mm, homeschooling. homeschooling is on a massive boom mm. over in the States. I think we're seeing a little rise of it over here as well. Mm. Uh, what, are, what, are you, what are your thoughts? Yeah, look, it's great to have different options for parents and for children, depending on what their needs and their situations are. And having, I teach in a university environment, yeah. I've had lots of children come in through that homeschooling pathway. Yes. You know, it's wonderful to see them back in a classroom and learning and earning their degrees and yeah. going on and being wonderful citizens of the world yeah. so it certainly it seems to me not to be a disadvantage it's yeah. awesome you, okay. you get different benefits from each system so that's great great to see options available yeah it's it's interesting the 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 newspaper was uh, the post was very um surprised to see that some of the biggest areas where homeschooling is on a boom is in uh, areas, uh, you know, some of the boroughs of New York, like mm. the Bronx and things like that, uh, where, uh, you know, s- there's some wonderful schools out, out there, public and private. But people, for different reasons, whether that's, uh, you know, safety concerns, sure. whether bullying or, you know, gun violence or any of these type of things, parents are saying, hey, we'd rather do our do, this, do the schooling at home. Mm. Uh, there's a large portion of Christians who are obviously, uh, you know, pushing that as well. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's definitely, uh, definitely here to say... Um, also noting that, uh, you know, only going back about 50 years ago, that uh, most states in the USA had homeschooling as illegal. Yeah, I was amazed to see that. I had yeah, no idea. Yeah, it, 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 that's uh, something you don't even even think about over there. So uh, very, very interesting uh, to see how it's going. And I don't think it's, I, I think it's actually going to rise because as, uh, you know, in part of the study, they um, interviewed uh, parents who are under 26 and they found that it, you know the vast majority of younger parents again I'm, I, I, I read the data and go yeah those who, are, who have the memories of school you know <laughs> the most say you know 70% of mums and dads under 26 said they would they would prefer mm. to do homeschooling well, over I think sending we're their also kids. seeing that the, the curriculum and the way that we can deliver material in a distance education format is getting better and better yeah. and so now we see children um, being able to actually talk to teachers virtually in yeah. the comfort of their own home and I know my kids went through um, that COVID situation and went exactly. actually you know what this is pretty good yeah I can see the attraction yeah yeah so uh, very interesting story I recommend you head over there if this uh, piques your interest at all go to vision.org.au scroll down and look for American homeschooling boom there by our very own Tony Davenport reporting it right now this is Carlton and Shelter you're on Rise and Shine